Okay, hi everyone. Let me uh, show you a little bit about the what Intelliver did for the Canada Post app. So as you can see, currently the the phone is showing the current Canada Post app on the store. Um, this one does not support landscape, so basically only poetry is running. This phone is running 4.0.1 ice cream sandwich. And if you click on any of the stuff, you're gonna go to the particular uh, detail or uh, the view it requires. And um, so as in the Intel world, we made something more exciting about this app in the, the phone version. So as you can see currently, I'm having a 2.1 phone here, 2.3 gingerbread phone here, and also the Aspen sandwich phone here. What we, what we did is basically we made a com uh, exactly duplicate copy of the current Canada ePost app, but just without all the, the internal functionality, but the, the overall view, overall kind of menu and kind of look. So as you can see, the look is pretty much exactly the same. And also, if you click on any of the item here, you're gonna go goes to the correct uh, uh, place. And also, even the map is working. So if you click on the post, find the post office, it will show you the. Uh, um, the map. Well, eventually we, we can turn turn it into the show the the actual uh, location for each post offices. And also what we did is it actually support landscape. So the app itself can support landscape and portrait and whatever as user want. Because in some older phone, once the user pull out the keyboard, the the app will automatically turn into landscape. And if you don't turn into landscape, you're gonna look a little bit awkward. And also on the phone version we did for this app, we support a functionality for scanning a item. So basically, before you gotta type in your item number, item description, if you want. But now you can push on the scan button, and the phone will turn into basically turn into a barcode scanner. And now you can actually scan the 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 mail you want. And well, currently we we don't actually have anything to scan for, so. Um, essentially just for the phone version.